Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any misses. Also, I would to request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right irrespective of what field or domain you work in it's very important to utilize your time in a proper manner you need to do things that will increase your productivity without creating a work pressure does not matter whether you are an uh, IT guy who works in a MNC or whether you are a businessman handling multiple outlets or anything to that matter of fact. The baseline is you need to be productive. Now, when we talk about productivity, it can be molded in multiple ways. It can be understood in various ways. But when it comes to day trading, it becomes absolutely necessary that you need to take care of the time. Timing is one of the key aspects for being a successful trader. Let's say you have a very nice strategy that works really well for you. But if you don't take the right entry, then that strategy becomes worthless, right? So timing is everything when it comes to day trading because in day trading, things change in minutes or even in seconds. Yeah, so you need to take care of that thing as well. So now coming to the point, how do we become productive? How do we make sure that we are uh, respecting the timing that is required while trading? Well, it's easy and you can do it by taking the help of the alerts. Now, you would say, what is the big deal? What is the big thing that I just said? You always take the help of the alerts to know uh, when a support level is reached or when a resistance level uh, is reached. Uh, we also set alerts for various candlestick patterns like double tops or double bottoms or triple tops or triple bottoms, right? And things like that. So what is the big deal? So let me explain this here. I'm not take, uh, talking about those simple alerts that I just mentioned. Any Tom, Dick and Harry can set such alerts. I'm talking about the alerts that has to be coded as per the strategy that you use. Let me take the example of trading view here. Okay, so if you are using trading view and if you have a particular strategy that you follow there, then code that strategy in Pine script and then set the alert for it. You need to, you need to use Pine script because TradingView runs or makes use of that particular language that is known as the Pine scripting. Similarly, if you are used to some other platform, then code your strategy according to the language that is being used by that platform and then set an alert for it, okay? Also, one more thing that you need to know here is it will surely take a lot of time for you to write that particular script right? It will surely take a lot of time to write that particular script because the script that you are preparing, that will be the trigger point for initiating your trades. So it has to be very precise. It has to be exactly what technicals you follow. It has to be matching with exactly what technical setup that you use on the charts. Okay, so the alert should be like, only when you get the alert, you should think of trading. And if you are not getting an alert, then you know that your trading setup or strategy is not yet met. So it's not the right time to trade. I hope you're getting the point, okay? So that should be the accuracy of your script and the corresponding alert. Also, please be noted that if you follow this way of trading, then a lot of good things will be taken care of automatically. Let me go ahead and give you some examples, okay? Uh, okay, to start with, uh, part number one, it can be if you set an alert, that will take care of you being disciplined because until and unless you get an alert, you will not trade. That is point number one. Point number two is you can avoid that emotional push to initiate or get into a trade even if the technicals don't meet. 
it happens right it happens all the time we we assume that the setup will complete even before the setup is completed in real and we initiate the trade based on that assumptions okay so setting an alert will help you to avoid this particular thing part number 3 is it it will it will bring down the stress level okay because you will not have to scan the stocks all the time if you don't have the script and the alert it's very obvious that you need to search for the stocks that are meeting your technical setup or strategy and this thing is not easy it's tough manual scanning scanning is always tough so if you have the alert coded and created exactly according to the technical setup that you use it will make your life much more easier and relaxing okay there are many more advantages but these are the few things that i can think of right now so please realize the importance of setting the alerts when we say that we have an alert set it's not that easy because in order to set that alert you need to have the strategy programmed or coded only after it works only after the code works then only you can move on to the alerts phase so when you talk about setting alerts there are a whole bunch of things that comes into the picture there are a whole bunch of things that needs to be worked in the background so i hope you are getting the point and that you are understanding the importance of setting the alerts to become productive and one more thing is that the alerts are a kind of underrated i would say because people don't know the full potential of them or maybe that people miss the things that the strategy has to be coded first and then the alerts will do the job it's not that you just set a price alert and say that i am making use of the alerts no that's not the exact purpose of the alerts okay so my job is to remind you guys or to let you guys know how exactly the alerts should be used and the rest of the job has to be done by you guys okay so that's it from my end guys and for the guys who have not watched my previous video i have put in the video card on the right on the top right corner of this video the i symbol that you see there you can click on it and watch my previous video and as always we request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you might get some more information about hyit that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comment section and i will surely reply back to them and also please do not forget to like this video if you liked it so that's all from my end and i will see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading and take care of yourselves bye bye